Legend of Total War here with part 9 of my Total War Attila, uh, the last Roman campaign. Let's play as uh, the Vandalic Kingdom. Alright, so previously we've kicked the, um, the Berbers out of Africa, hopefully for good, and we crushed them at Rusadir. However, they could come back, so we should make our way back over here. I don't want to stay inside the city because, for one thing, we want to have a revolt. Because we've got massive instability and that will fix it. And second thing, there's fucking plague there and I don't want my army chucking the shits. Um, we can upgrade them, but to be honest, these guys are so shit that an extra 5% damage or whatever. So look at their stats, okay. Melee attack and melee defense. So this thing is going to be increased. So 24, 42. No difference. So it's a waste of money. Whether it be 150, 1,000, it's a waste because it does nothing. And I think that's silly. But anyway, whatever. Um, probably should be an additive bonus, not a percentage. But whatever. Alright, so let's see here. We've got a lot of money. Uh, res uh, relatively. So what are we going to spend it on? The problem is that a lot of these buildings, you know, you think, oh yeah, I can upgrade this. But then you're going to think, what about the negatives of that building? So... Most of the settlements here are on a knife's edge. I mean, except for this region, which is actually pretty good. But there's nothing here vital that I need to upgrade. Most of the stuff requires certain text that we don't have. That's going to give us access to some stuff that's not really that important. Where, where does water tanks come into play? There. Um, well, I don't know. I can't really do anything about that right now. We, we, it's more important that we get the uh, public order, I think, under control. Okay, how's the squalor here? It's pretty good. We could go and grab that. It doesn't really provide much except for a bit of extra food. Yeah, Alright, get it. And we'll also get fishing jetties here, because I don't think this, yeah, this place has not very good, oh, excuse me, not very good fertility. And upgrade them. Okay, good. That'll make this region a lot richer than it already is. No, there's nothing more to spend on. So basically, at this stage, what we need to be doing is consolidating Africa. Because we've still got public order issues in the east, uh, sorry, in the, in the western provinces. And then we'll be making our way into Iberia to start claiming that. We'll use the Visigoths. Um, enemies as our enemies so that we can use the Visigoths to help us and then once we've killed off all the Visigoths enemies Then we'll kill the Visigoths as well hmm, Looks like the uh, Visigoths might claim that territory to be honest that might actually be better Okay, we just finished another chapter, so... What's this going to mean? Chapter 3, Fallen Empires, Risen Kings. The old world of empires is dying. Alright, whatever. Survive until 540 AD, so another 3 years. That's... What's that? 12 times 3, 36 turns. Climate change has not... happened in any further effect. Which is good, because that's a pain in the ass. But I, I do think that there is another one on the way. Okay, so we've finished that. Five turns and we can get ourselves 10% trade income from tariffs. So let's just see, firstly, how much money are we making from tariffs? Fuck all. So it's really not worth it. Like, 10% of that's like an extra 20. That's such a stupid tech. Um, that being said, there is, there is other things in there, but things that I don't really find necessary at this stage. So... Then again, I, I could use a library. If we start building more libraries, um, we can research the, the higher level techs much faster. These guys are planning to land, but they're not going to be able to do much. Alright, so you need to raid in this territory because we need to bring about this um, revolt. And even with all of these guys raiding, it's still sort of not that bad. Actually, I was supposed to destroy this. Uh, let's see, and... That's being kept. That needs to be destroyed. OK. 
Okay, this. Uh, I think we need to focus on converting a lot of these these buildings anyway. Yep. Won't convert that. That's actually quite good. Providing a lot of money. Doesn't provide a heap load of food, but that's okay. It's not essential in the region. That is actually it's not providing very much. But we'll fix it as soon as we establish some more stuff here. All right. So that's been repaired. Can't get that without all of. I can't get that without a monopoly. But that's fine. Okay. How are we going over here? That's almost finished. That'll be worth a fortune. We should probably convert that. Good, come over here and let's get rid of these rebels. And then no more instability here, hopefully. Uh, unless these guys hire a heap load of mercenaries and sack something. But I might send them over there to go keep an eye on them. Anyway, you missed your chance to take this area. You'll never take it as long as these guys are around. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. I'm just going to keep them outside the city, because... I don't know. Actually, why don't you... No, you can't raid. Yeah, whatever. Okay, um... What else do we need? I'd like to upgrade that in... Of, of, of that actual chain. I think is converting it is actually a bad thing. The only th there's absolutely no upside to converting it. None. Even at level 4, I can't get that good bonuses. That's what I'm saying. The, the Vandalic faction is shit. The Eastern factions just have much better builds. And when it comes down to it, better buildings will generate a better economy. Some factions are stronger than others. From what I can tell, though, there's really no difference between the Vandals now and 395 AD. Like, they haven't progressed at all. Anyway, let's move. Uh, it doesn't matter. Might be an idea to actually get a peace treaty with the Franks now. Can you not attack these folk? Your bravery in this would surely be worthy of a bard song. I was worried about the separatists being there, but yes, I'll join that for that kind of cash. I intend to go kill them anyway. And it'd be good. The more more wars that we're uh, together fighting, the less chance the Visigoths have of uh, actually betraying me. Which, if they did betray me, that would be disastrous. So we fight in wars that really have... We have no downside, because it's just not in their best interest to attack us. Okay, rebellion imminent over here. Oh, what the fuck? I haven't upgraded this settlement yet. We can't let that go to shit. Alright, I need you to come back over here, just by force march. Actually, no, you should be able to be at fine by all, by by this means. Come over here. Time to kill them. Hopefully, the Visigoths win there. Tell them to piss off. Okay, there's a rebellion here. We still need to get rid of that. Alright, auto resolve should be fine. Be good actually to take that, um, Onager, but whatever, it doesn't matter. No downside to the auto resolve there. Uh, I don't see any reason why we couldn't take a ransom. Good, and you can come back across the river, stay in Caesarea. Maintain the public order there for a while. You stay right there. Because I'll probably need him to go back to Rusadir next turn. 
I'm about to guess that's where the rebellion will show up. I kind of hope it isn't, but that's where I think it will show up. Alright, so what do we got here? We've got... That'll be converted to something. We haven't even got the required tech for it yet. Um, that's okay. That building still by itself is pretty good. Apart from consuming a lot of food. I think we're going to need the food stores. The squall is not a bad... Not in a bad way at the moment, but as we upgrade things, it will become bad. Let it repair on its own still. Destroy that. Yep, okay, all good. Still waiting on that revolt. Okay, upgrading this would provide a little bit of extra money, but I'm not too sure if we can afford the squalor problems. Maybe we really do need that before we can move on this way. That would probably help. Alright, so uh, what else can we build? Alright, how's the squalor here? We've got a surplus of four, so if we built the trade jetties up a little bit more, that's an extra 600, I think. Wealth there. Public order will, will stay intact, even with it. I don't know, understand how trade Wharf would increase public or would decrease public order problems. No, sorry, increase public order problems. Doesn't really make sense. Okay, this region's got excellent public order. We can afford to upgrade that now. It's missing um, sanitation in that building. Um, if we were to upgrade this, it would increase growth. So that's good. All right. Do that one, that'll also increase growth slightly. How's the food here? It's considered very good. If I upgrade that to level 4. Quite a bit of extra wealth coming in, and also a bit of extra food. Plenty of sanitation there. Alright. Good, the region, for the most part, is under control. Okay, we're going to need a military alliance with the uh, with the Visigoths. They seem to be doing all right. My friend, we welcome the blessings of Christ, the Savior, to you. Oh, shut up! Give me your fucking money, or you can rot in hell. Wankers. Okay, so. We got a military alliance, and didn't I get military access? You military access, military alliance, trade fork. Okay, yep. So why can't I see in their land? Maybe I'll find out as of next turn. Because after this rebellion happens, our guys are something to hightail it out of Africa into, I guess, what is to be um, Portugal, and uh, start conquering there. And then we'll use this as a base of operations against the Visigoths. The problem is though, if we drive them into the sea, they'll drive them straight into Africa. So it might be a good idea if we leave a few armies on the coast here to deny them any retribution. When the time comes, this is very far in the future. Okay, how are we going here? I think we could afford to do that. Go for it. We will lose some money once we, um, or some form of income once we uh, declare war on the Visigoths, but all of our base trade goods will just go over to the Ostrogoths, at least that's what I'm assuming. Um, but we'll lose a long time trade partner, obviously. And tariff bonus. So it'll probably be in the vicinity of about six or seven hundred, maybe a bit more. Take that, you fucking idiot. What are they called? Um, Berber piece of shit. The rebels actually did me a favor there. Now, because they've already withdrawn once, 
you can't withdraw again. Meaning you're fucking dead. Piss on their grave. I need to show your dead enemies any respect. Teach your future enemies not to fuck with you. Of course, if you ever get caught with your pants down, no one's going to show you any mercy. But that's okay. If you're the king of the world, you don't need anyone to show you mercy. For the tribe. Because they're too weak to touch you. Alright, so, Visigoths are Okay, so, if we did go to war with the Visigoths. Let's see, we've got a long... Oh, I, I have the Ostrogoths. Um, that's 543. Okay, it's actually a bit more than I thought. It's going to be more like 800. But then again, all the resources will come over here. And that'll help boost this further along. That's really nice and high. Are we still exporting all of our stuff? Okay, the resource value for gemstones has actually gone up by one. Okay, well that's cool. I thought that it stayed static the entire game. Now, if it's anything like Empire, it means that um, the value of the resource is actually dependent on how much overall wealth there is in the campaign. As in, the, the more wealthy the settlements, the more they pay. And also depends, I think, on how much supply there is as well. So if you flood the market, obviously the, um, the resource will get cheaper. We can't upgrade that any further until we've uh, we've gotten the other gems. So where are the other gems anyway? So where's okay? We've got one gem there. Here, that's sitting on the Ostrogoths. Other ones up here in the Franks. Right. Neither of them are upgraded. There's gold over here, but gold doesn't interest me because of the public order problems that it produces. One could be useful. I don't think I've got any of that yet. Whatever, we've got plenty of money, so there's no desperate need to collect all of the resources. Okay, so a rebellion has happened. We've shown where it is. We can stop this now. Of course, we were making a bit of money off it, but that being said, the amount of money we're making from raiding does not pay their upkeep, so there's no need for them to do that. What we should be doing is moving on to new territory. So how many settlements do we have now? So in Africa, there are a total of 21... Oh, that's right. You also got to count for them. So there's 18 regions in Africa. Three of those. Okay, so let's... We've got military access. They shouldn't mind if we go for a bit of a wander. They won't accept our help over there. Three armies should be more than enough to deal with... Hang on. Upgrading their speed to level 3. And let me just grab one of them. It does make them a hell of a lot faster. So look at that, there's the same unit, but it says here now... Excellent speed instead of good speed. You can't get a cavalry much faster than that. Nah, it doesn't matter. Oh, you know what, fucking, how much is it going to cost? Fine, I got the money. If we ever get into a manually resolved battle, that might just save us. Anyway, you're going to need to force march to catch up to them. I have no interest in saving the uh, Visigoths. I'm here to conquer the Swabians and the Western Separatists. I don't know what the fuck, which civil war they came from, but whoever they are, we're going to kill them. Legend has no interest in playing it nice. You will be subjugated or you will fucking die. That's how I roll. What am I doing? Looking for something to do. Okay, regions like this that have low food output, if we ever have another climate change, because I have no idea if and it, when it's showing up, we might want to make sure that um, our food supplies are a little bit stronger. That being said, it seems to be going up. That'll probably have to be food when the time comes. Right, we are researching certain things that's going to help with that. Okay, that for one thing, that'll help a little bit. How have we gone for here for Squalor? Squalor's all good. 
All right, do it. Got plenty of food here, so we can afford to upgrade the trade jetty. Is that right? Only just. There's actually quite a bit of sanitation issues. Oh, that's okay. We'll sort it out. Why is that anyway? Alright, can we go over here? This needs to be... Can, uh, not yet then. Next turn. Alright, so this has been destroyed. What are we going to build in its place? An Aryan Chapel. Yes. But not right now. Because I don't have the money for it. Right now we just move on to the next turn, I think. Okay, you need to come over here. Stand. Okay, this settlement now has no plague. So you should be fine to stay there. Looks like they're going to finish off the Berbers, but that's fine. Moving on. I don't care who kills them as long as they die. Doesn't look like the Ostrogoths are having a good time with these Franks. They're they're pushing down on them. They're probably still just sacking like every single region that they come across. Which of course will achieve nothing. Yes, I know I could recruit some champions, but I just don't see the need for them right now. I know champions have that ability where they could essentially bribe other agents, but because we don't have huge corruption issues, I don't need any additional spies or anything like that. I'd prefer just to send my armies in and crush everyone militarily. Admiral Price was telling me he had something like 30 or 60 bloody spies at one point. It's like, that was just ridiculous. Although that really would have helped me in the Western Roman Empire campaign had I figured that out. But of course I figured it out after the bloody campaign was over. Um, Do we wait for them to get stronger, or do we just go after them? The I say we just go straight after them. Would be a river crossing battle, but that's fine. It's not going to happen that way. We're just going to kill them. I didn't need you to actually cross over the river, but luckily you can make it back. I do kind of need him to come over here and team up with them, so... I don't think I should send them by sea. That seems, seems a bit dangerous. Anyway, according to this, the fastest way across would still be by land. Even if it is sort of the long way around. Right, so does that mean the Berbers are gone? Because... No, that's the last of them there. That took that region back. For battle. We can't get too far if we have to cross these fucking rivers all the time. Um, let's see here. We're on our way over this way. I care nothing for saving them. I'm here for my own reasons. Why are we taking attrition? Oh, there's a swamp there. That's what happened. Well, at least because we're in um, our allies' territory, we can use them to replenish our own forces. Alright, now we need to start thinking about public order here. We're obviously going to need an, an Aryan church. That's going to... Now that apparently will save us, but then we have to tap in, take into account the fact that this guy here... Um, is probably providing some public order for the region, just a little bit. So we need to do more. Okay, that's actually providing a lot of public order. More than what this would provide. Oh no, no, that's actually going to provide more. Right. Still, that's pretty damn good. I 
I mean, I could go and get a champion. I just don't, I don't really see the need for it right now. Well, that's going to provide public order. Alright, well, I'm hiring you. Good, he's helping to fix up the region. Alright, this needs to be converted. That needs to become... How are we going here for food? It's very poor, then you need to go food. Alright. Not much else I can do now for public order. We just need to build up the Aryan church as much as possible. How are we going here for religion? It's mostly Aryan Christian anyway. Everything's completely stabilized. But not for long. We'll be spreading some more of the faith soon. That needs to turn that off. Now we leave the camel herd because that provides more food than bloody level 4. Actually, let me see about that. No, not so, but then again, it doesn't have as many problems. And for a region that is still not sorted, maybe let's just leave it. Alright, that'll do it. Moving on. So they just go there and they sack it. They're so stupid. They're in a perfect position there to actually take more territory and actually hold on to it. The Ostrogoths are overstretched and they don't do it. Alright. So, who got deceived? I. Oh, it doesn't matter. I just wanted him to stay in the region anyway for public order reasons, so I don't give a shit. Still more rivers to cross. Get to all the seaports. Big country out here. Can't just hop from region to region. I don't care what happens over there. They'll probably just sack it anyway. I'm not interested in saving the Visigoths. They didn't cross over the river. Stupid bastard. Um, you guys will need to force march if you want to cross the river. But stay together now. He'll probably lag behind a little bit still, but at least you're together. If anyone attacks you, even if you are an all in force march, they'll need at least two armies to even do a dint into it and you. Even though you guys are fairly weak units. Alright, what now what? Okay, can we upgrade this to level 3? Requires 40 food, we don't have enough. Got lots of food in here, so what if we did this one? If that went to level 3... It only... Well, actually costs a little bit of squalor as well. How are we going with that? We'll be right on the edge, maybe... Maybe best just to wait. I don't think there's any real need to bring this to level 3. Just leave it be. Nope, can't touch it. I don't think we can really build anything until we've... Well, any in any of the initial starting territories. Um, I don't think we can build anything until um, we research some more tech. Right, that, yep. How are we going here for sanitation's all good? Good, grab that. How are we going here? That's going to provide or cause more sanitation problems. 
public order here is pretty stable. All right, go for it. In fact, we could probably even get this guy to leave now. As soon as a war shows up that we need them. Why don't you just gain the last of your units and maybe I'll send you to Iberia. Or maybe I'll send you up there to fight, help fight the Franks. Let me see here. Can I get a peace treaty with the Franks by any chance? I have little gain no. in wait. What about the Basques? God in heaven. Funny thing is, I hear a lot of people like going, just bleating on and on and on about, give us the Basques, give us the Basques, or whatever. I'm just like, who the fuck are the Basques anyway? Why do people care so much? And if they did give you access to the Basques, do you realize that they're just going to be like every other fucking faction? They're just a reskin of bloody the Visigoths. It's not going to be any different. There's no point giving the giving us access to them. Are you brave or cool? Just wanted to check. What about you guys? You guys up for a flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Be like nah, a whatever. Uh, I still got a little bit of money, but I can't really see anything else I can do with it. Oh, that's all good. Master of Officers. None of that stuff really interests me. Come on, run them down and kill them. Finish them off. No more Berbers. Good. Even though I wasn't one to take them down. Um, I did do 90% of the work. Actually, more than that. Did most of the work. And they... Well, that wasn't part of their starting territories anyway. So we've annexed the entire Berber kingdom. Faction destroyed Berbers. Good. And made they rotten shit. Okay, so that's been finished. What's next? So we also get that trade income tariffs, but that's, again, not a huge concern. Okay. Some of this stuff could be useful. I think that's going to be more useful, and I'll research that first. Because I am feeling the need for more sanitation in my region so I can build things up. I mean, public order at the moment seems mostly stable in my regions anyway. Okay, looks like we don't have to cross another river. So that's good, but you have to. Ready for battle. You can get all the way to out here anyway. In fact, you can get all the way to the city. Alright, well, before you force march there, why don't we have a little bit of a look and see what there is? Out. I mean, we can already see, but... Alright, let's just go to there. It actually kind of looks like we do have to cross over one more river to get there. But according to this, we will get there this turn. I mean, next turn. Good. Emirita's over here. So it would be good for us if they actually conquered it, and then I could take it straight off them. Don't have to give it back to the Visigoths. You've got a while to to move before you can catch up, but you've got to get started on it. Um, you're just there for slight public order reasons, that's it. I don't need you for anything else. I am the wild rover. I am the Idiot. Just, uh, are you getting any experience? Ah, oh, goddammit. No. I don't care, just stay there. Alright then, so let's see. And it's cheaper than a building. So we've got massive... Well, it's not massive public order problems, but we do have problems. That's going to help things a little bit. What are the other issues? Devastation. Okay, well that's going down. Okay, it's only small cost. That's a bit of a cost. Okay, this, the region should stabilize, especially once we build that one up. And again, that's being built. Um, 
Whatever, we'll figure it out. I'm sure I'm sure we can fix it before another revolt happens. Okay, with that tech done, we can upgrade this further. Alright, because that only provides 5% tech. That's crap. Um... 10% is obviously twice as good. Plus it provides... Oh, it's the same amount of public order. We've only got a little bit of food. Alright, if we do that, we'll... I think we've only just got enough food for it. So we're going to need more food. That's going to provide heaps of public order. The region's fine as it is anyway. It doesn't provide a much, um, much wealth at all. It provided more wealth in the uh, Grand Campaign. Ah, uh, whatever. Actually, if I had to guess, that instead of being the Great Theatre, that's the um, the circus chain. It's just they just sort of switch the stats around. Yeah, they did. I don't really see the point of purpose of that, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Need the food. Okay. What else? Upgrade this. Not sure if I really need that now. Well, it only causes one squalor. It's a lot of extra money, so yeah, do it. Alright, let's just move on to the next turn. Once we take out those uh, little uh, fragment forces in um, Iberia, all that's going to be left are the big, the big five: Romans, Visigoths, Ostrogoths, Franks, Vandals. Visigothic separatists, no, separatists, well, whatever. Don't care. With your bride, give blessing. Okay, we're losing a bit of influence lately, so we need to sort of. Claim that back. I think the way to do that is with a bit of control. Gather some support. Use the women to do it, because there's nothing really else they can do. Who the fuck are you? Uh, apparently becoming a retainer is good to get them leveled up, but I I'd also don't care. Oh, fuck it, I'll just do it anyway. Here, become a retainer. Of the king. Ah, look at that, they actually occupied it. Well, we'll, be, we'll uh, make our way over there soon, I guess. How many regions do the Swabians have? We've got these guys, they're coming up, up north as well. If I send them up there, they're sending them to a death trap. Those guys will catch us on the road. Alright, well, I'm sending you back over there to team up with him. He can't cross the river. We essentially only need one army here anyway. But I'll send both so they both get experience. And also it'll help protect against any attacks that are made. Now these guys should be of my culture, right? Um, I will loot and occupy it, yep. I shouldn't have to convert these buildings. Good. Now what I'm going to do, because I've got a lot of money, it's time to recruit new, a new army. So let's see here. This guy's not going to cost us anything, but that doesn't really concern me. We've got plenty of money. Get this guy in there. No, nope, I don't want a navy. Alright, and just start him recruiting garbage. 
Alright, so what have we got here? Iron. Yeah, well, we'll keep that. Just let it repair on its own. Okay, garrison encampment. No, we'll need a um, sanitation here, I think. Sanitation should uh, be more important than food. It doesn't matter if this region imports food for, for now. Uh, military jetties. We'll need um, food. Uh, this region here is very poor anyway. Okay, good. Get rid of that. And let that just repair on its own. Okay, and you. Yeah, come right over here. So we just crossed the river there. He's going to team up with them. Three armies going to go pick on them. That should be enough to deal with them. And of course, we'll raise another army here. It won't take them long to get organized. And then we'll march them up north. When they're ready. Still got heaps of cash. Okay, public order here is now stable, so that's good, but I want to keep going with this. Now, to an extent, I actually, at this stage, it's kind of good that this uh, this um, this stuff is costing upkeep rather than... Hang on a sec. Something's costing upkeep here. In Anfa. I, I fucking bet you it's that. I bet it's that one. Alright, I'll have to bring that up with, with CA as well. Because I just told them about the church thing. I'll have to remind them that also the Canut network does it as well. Okay. Because they said that they'll fix this and only take... The, obviously, the patch isn't going to come through straight away. Even though I... They've probably already fixed it by now, but it's not done instantly. Um, yes. Get the... Uh, the thi thing is, that'll provide more public order. That'll provide osmosis. And food. Yeah, that's... Kind of more important. Got heaps of food here, so that's, this is no issues. Yep, grab that. Sanitation here is fine. So, we build that, and we lose out on 100 culture of wealth. That causes no squalor, though. Got plenty of sanitation here, and it's getting better. But we also lose 5% tax rate, but we gain 5 extra public order, which I think is more important. Have these regions self sustainable so we don't have to babysit them. Okay, out of cash, moving on. So we've made our first steps into um, Iberia. We've got our base of operations. Now we need to expand our operations. Over the skulls of our enemies. Looks like the Franks are at war with the Visigoths as well. They just took out a Visigoth army. Doesn't concern me when the Visigoths are losing. After all, we do intend to go kill them anyway. Good, gain some support. Retainer appointment accepted. I don't really know what it's going to do, but we'll, I guess we'll find out. Or not. I mean, I did it in the Hunnic campaign, and I didn't really learn anything from it. I wasn't really paying much attention to it either. So if I go to the king, who's here, and I have a look here... It has nothing... I don't know, it doesn't say anything about the retainer here and if I go to I go to this guy who's down the retainer it just says he's good in a fight well whatever something's going on here whenever I tell them to go on there they they seem to not stay in the office the amount of time that's 
they're supposed to. Alright, that was the army that's there. And now they're raiding in... Alright. Oh, yeah, they're not going to recover, recover their casualties. Well, not in friendly territory. Right. How far can you get? Okay, you can get to here. By force march. And then you come to here so that you can recover your casualties. Lost a quarter of our army, bloody crossing a swamp. It's kind of ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, don't go, don't go around that way. You never know what's going to come up through the north. That's it. Get them organised so that we can hopefully soon march north. You know what? We might as well bloody raid this territory here. It's going to be a rebellion anyway. Might as well make a bit of extra cash out of it. Uh, it's not much. Reduces the amount of food, but who cares. Okay, that needs to go. This uh, needs to be a fishing jetty. See, they're not really in the best shape either, so they come and attack us and they'll probably lose. Because these guys are, well... This one's at full strength, at least. The other one's not. In fact, I could probably win this manually, given the quality of those cavalry. Well, I've got to be careful with doing that, because it's going to start consuming a lot of food. And although we've got lots of surplus, we're not exactly in a climate change prone time at the moment. Next year, you know, another climate change thing could happen totally put us on our ass. Okay, we're low on sanitation. Let's not do anything unnecessary. Because it's been good. For a while now, we've had no sanitation issues. Ah, there's sanitation issues here. Oh, probably because I went and built that. So what is it? Minus one? Minus two. Right, so we really need that to grow. It should only take a few turns, and I can't be stuffed destroying that for it. Good, that keeps making more and more money. That's what I need to be seeing. The resource value keeps going up as well. Well, who knows? Maybe it just goes up over time. I don't know, it's not it's not told, it's not made clear, you can't find it on the encyclopedia. So I don't know how you're supposed to know. And I can't be stuffed putting through putting the game through a bunch of tests to figure it out. Cause that's what I used to do with Medieval 2. I used to run a whole campaign just to test out certain features. To like try and figure them out inside and out. But I just I can't be stuffed with it. Um, Total War Attila. I find that it's not worth it. Like I don't care if I'm not the best. Ah, if you want to attack the Visigoths, I got no problem with that. Their armies are running running rampant. There's the Basques. Not overly interested in going over there to fight their their armies. I don't think they hoard in this campaign. Like if we took out all of their cities, not, don't think they hoard. I, I can't remember though. Well, how am I supposed to can't remember? I, I've never put it to the test. I've only been fighting eastern factions, which have been in the west. So they, it's, they should be called desert factions. Good. It only takes one turn to build the siege equipment. I don't know what factors are involved in building it or not, but there we go. No, you can't get there except by force march. Good, nobody's going to fuck with that. That's what we want to see. The upkeep cost of this army here is going to be negligible. So, because if you have a look at this, the upkeep cost of it is 2,500. That's fucking nothing. In fact, this unit here accounts for like more than five of them. In fact, I should probably... Those are, those are actually regular Germanic spearmen. 
definitely slightly better. And I still just prefer the Germanic Levy. Okay, we're waiting until they're full strength before we move them out. Alright, we need a well here. Where is that? Now what? No, I don't know what to build. I, I really feel like we need to upgrade that sanitation stuff everywhere. So maybe it'd be a good idea to save up the money and just build everything all at once once that's done in a few turns. Or maybe I could raise some more armies. Let me just see here. I could raise another army. I could also raise a fleet. I don't see the need for a fleet. Except against Romans. Well, if I see them coming down this way, then I'll, I'll raise a fleet as quickly as I can. But until then, fuck it. They're so stupid, I don't know why they don't take that. It's like, they're gifted to them on a plate and they don't take it. There's a city named Lagio. Fair enough. Okay, so, what are we doing? Rebellion in a minute, where? Oh, it would be in... It would be here, wouldn't it? Because that's where I'm raiding. Well, that's good. Perfect opportunity for us to loot this city. Lost 72 men on the assault. Sounds good. And loot it. For the tribe. And all of the public order problems we gained from that will disappear. Looks like there was already a rebellion here, but let's... quickly put that down. There will likely be a new rebellion to deal with. On the move, lads. Oh, hang on a second. Right, all of these guys are providing so much public order now that we've just saved the region from rebellion. But all we have to do is take him out of the city and then it shows up. Ready for battle. Your next command. Uh, come over here. Everyone sticks together. And then raid it. There's really only po point putting one of them on to raid it. Otherwise, more of them, they just sort of overdo each other. Um, okay, so there's a carpenter here. We don't want that. Get rid of it. Supply storage, get rid of it. Recruitment grounds, get rid of it. Aryan church, we want to keep that. We actually want to convert it to the hermitage. But uh, I think we can allow that to re just repair on its own for now. It's not urgent. Okay, you need to be recruiting. Just put the whole... Oh, hang on. Look at all these units here. Germanic crossbows. Now, whilst they are probably excellent units in, in uh, manually resolve, we've been auto-resolving just fine. Oh, here we go. I could really use that. Okay, the carpenter there. I want you to just hold off on that for a turn. Because that's where it's coming from. That will really help us out. Okay, I want you to recruit a bunch of them. Because we're going to dish them out to all the other guys. Yeah, that'll be good. That way we don't have to lay siege. We can just assault straight away. Still does order resolve, but yeah. Alright, anything else to purchase? No, nope. until the next tech is done, I don't... It's just a... 
I'd have to bloody look through all the bloody records here to find anything worth doing. Just checking up all of the sanitation and... Actually, that one might be okay there. Okay, you. You don't need to stay here anymore. This region has more than proven to me that it's stable enough. Yep, yeah, even with you gone, it's still fine. Okay, we want you to go out... Um, Go land near the Visigoths, because you get a warm welcome near them. By the time you get there, we'll probably be ready to take on the Busks anyway. Or whatever the fuck they're called. Looks like we'll be saving up a lot of cash. Well, can't see anything else I need to do with it. And some of you might think, why don't you hire more professional units? Why? Why bother? I mean, I'm doing so well with just low-grade units. This is the thing. I, I think you're better off. You can have a more efficient military engine with low-grade units and high ones. Anyway, once I get these new techs and develop those things throughout every region, I'll go broke again. I'll probably need about 100 grand to upload, up, upload, upgrade every single settlement, uh, their wells. Visigoths aren't having a good time. It's a good thing I'm sure enough to help them. Sort of. Okay, so a rebellion showed up here. Okay, you guys can quit with that. Alright then, I want you guys to recruit while you march. March up north. Ah, uh, no, no, no. No more raiding. Hang on, can you get there? Because the thing is, I don't know what's there. If they've got a huge army there, that could be a problem. I mean, they are just separatists, but that does make them not a faction. So what we'll do is we'll trespass on their territory and just have a little bit of a peek. They got nothing there. We're all good. Oh, hang on, who are they at war with? They're at war with the Swabians and the Basques. Well, I'm not going to get any money out of them for that, so... I'll drag my... No, I won't bother dragging the Visigoths into it. There's nothing here. Uh, I want you to stay inside the settlement there. Actually, no, I don't. I want you to come out here and help. Okay, and I want you to uh, just occupy it. That way is not much instability. Thirsty for battle. Get moving. Okay, I want. I think that's enough onagers. We'll distribute them around over time. Ready for orders. Okay, I want to leave one army behind to just. Sort of keep an eye on them. Here, just leave you, yep. Ready for battle. Actually, mm, I shall leave the king. King, you stay here. Keep an eye on them. You two, you're going up north to go deal with Swabians. We'll deal with the Swabians first, then the Basques. So we've taken all of Lusitania. We're not expecting another rebellion. Okay, they've got to go around that way. Well, let's fight. Off they go. Makes sense if they force march there. There shouldn't be anyone able to intercept them. And even if they did, as long as they're united, no one's going to fuck with them. And we've got four lots of artillery here, one for each man. In fact, we could probably raise another army here, we've got so much cash. I wonder how long this video's been going for. Should probably take a break. Okay, what do we need here? We've got the Aryan church, we need food stores. Actually, no, we need public order. Grab that first. That'll be where we build the food stores. That'll need... There, it's time for that to go. We don't need it anymore. We just need it until I could get my onagers. Now we just need to make sure we don't lose the onagers, or else we can't get any more. Unless there's mercenaries, which... I don't know. There could be. Toolmaker. Yeah, upgrade it. It's probably going to cause problems, but we'll be fine. Okay, in this territory here. Garrison encampment. Don't want it. Need a... Um farm 
Is there is this region very poor? Yeah, okay, so we need to convert that to um, a cattle farm. And that'll leave another building left over for something. Well, we'll figure it out. Actually, if that's the case, leave the garrison encampment there just for now. Nothing else I see really desperately needs anything done to it. Let's move on. Look at these idiots fighting amongst themselves, not recognizing that I'm the true threat here, that everyone will just fall down to me. See, I dealt with all my internal problems and all my neighbors, and now it's time to poke my nose in other people's business. And be the bully that I always am. Bow down to me and die, you shit. Okay, so what happened here? Natural causes. Oh. He must have been pretty old. That's fine. Cause it's only been like four years into the campaign. You're young, you'll you'll never die. What's this? Yeah, whatever. Been there. Succession. Oh okay, so long live the Emperor. Yeah, so the king died. And now he's king. That's a shame, he was okay. Alright, with that, I think I'll actually take a break. I think this video has actually gone on more than an hour. At least I can feel like it has. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 10 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers!